see it's 1 30 and we'll get this started it's uh monday august 1st 2022 this is the meeting for the city of san angelo texas zoning board of adjustment we're going to call to order and establish that we have a quorum i believe we do we have seven today all right item number two is review and take any minutes any action related to the minute records of the regular meeting held on Monday, June 6th and Monday, July 11th of 2022? Does anyone have any questions in, on the minutes? If not, I need a motion and a vote. I just had a spelling error on June 6th on my last name. Okay. <laughs> I was glancing through. <laughs> June 6th? Yes. Whereabouts? Which page? I don't have them in front of me, Jeff. I'm sorry, but I, I glanced through there yesterday. Yes. G-E-R-E-R-O. Oh, of course. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'll motion to approve with change. Okay. Second. I have a motion and a second. Let's have the vote. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're, we're going to have some. <laughs> we got to make these meetings fun. So. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have fun. I uh, vote we move this down to Blaine's pub. Oh, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, I, I digress here. Oh, my goodness. All right, we have a second for the minutes. So it's all, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Passes. Seven zero. Ray, you don't have to record that Blaine's part. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to item number three, ZBA 22 14. 4325 Bowie Street, single member district number two, Tom Thompson. A request for approval of a variance from section 501.A of the zoning ordinance to allow a front yard setback of 7.5 feet facing East 44th Street in lieu of the required 25 feet in order to construct a single family home on the property within the single family residential RS1 zoning district located at 4325 Bowie Street. And Jeff's going to present. Hello, Jeff. Hi, good morning. Jeff Fisher, Chief Planner. Thank you, Chair Cortese, ZBA members. Uh, we just have the one case today on 4325 Bowie, so I'm going to go through this quickly. Tom Thompson, District 2, Lakeview neighborhood. Uh, there's the subject property at the corner of Bowie and 44th, and then looking south on Bowie. This is an infill neighborhood. Um, these lots were originally uh, two lots facing um, 44th, and the um, applicant now is, is dividing this into, um, into three lots. Uh, unfortunately, even though they all meet the lot sizes and would meet all the other uh, setbacks, um, there's an issue with this being a double frontage lot. Typically in San Angelo, and let me, let me just move forward, we didn't receive any responses. Uh, so this is where they want to put the house, currently vacant land. Uh, they've got a preliminary subdivision plat, which includes these two lots and then the third one over here, and then a final plat um, for just these two lots. So. Um, Depending on what happens today, um, uh, this is important um, for them to move forward with their, their plan of subdivision. Uh, so this, this corner lot, if, we, if you reversed it and you went the other way and you had the two lots facing 44th and then one facing either way, that corner lot gets dinged because they need a double frontage, two 25-foot setbacks. So if this one over here faces 44th, the zoning ordinance says this automatically makes this a front yard, 25 feet. This one over here fronts onto Bowie, this also makes this, therefore, a front yard. Typically, um, the newer subdivisions, they'll make a larger lot size, um, but again, this is an infill, so they couldn't do that. The, the alternative is there would be an alley. In some of those old subdivisions, there's no alley. The alley would make the alley side a rear, so they're kind of stuck. So, um, went out, took some pictures. They've got a 15-foot um, right-of-way along 44th Street, and then as you go to the east, um, this is a retention pond all over here. So it's very unlikely, it doesn't mean never, but it could be, you know, there'll obviously be this one home here, um, but it's very unlikely that those other homes will develop anytime soon. 
Uh, so that plus the 15-foot right-of-way, the unique situation being an infill like this, we believe is a special circumstance and therefore warrants a variance. So just to go over the criteria with you, you first you need to define is one of these three um, circumstances met? And then if it is, we go through the uh, six criteria for a variance. So um, the state has kind of added a little bit to number one. Um, so size, shape, area, topography, it's probably this one too, it's a unique shape. Um, but also um, by not approving this variance, it would make the structure non-compliant with a requirement of a city ordinance. So the fact that you've got a de facto double frontage would literally give them a 20 foot wide home that's not gonna be wide enough to build. So that's the, the issue. Um, meets all the other tests here. So the five, now that we go through that, we look at the five criteria in the ordinance. Uh, and I've already talked about the 15 foot right of way, which gives more uh, distance to the street. So it's not gonna be right up against the street, that, that home, plus another seven and a half feet. So when you add that together, you're, you're getting close to the, the 25 um, anyway. How it shouldn't affect any adjacent land. As I mentioned, the retention pond is there. Um, and so we believe this is a, a, a good candidate for a variance. Uh, two conditions of approval on this. The applicant obtains um, and records the subdivision plat before permitting the new home. That subdivision's in review now. We'll go to the Planning Commission on August 15th. Number two, the applicant obtains all appropriate permits for the new home, which should just be a, a building permit. And so um, that's pretty much it. Variance, if it gets approved, then the subdivision would get approved and then a building permit could be issued. So any questions or comments? And this, oh, by the way, this is a, a, a Galilee home. Um, so the, they do a lot of, uh, a nonprofit do a lot of work, build um, uh, affordable homes in the, in the community, just <laughs> FYI on that. Any questions for Jeff? Jeff, are we gonna are we gonna have to do this again when they decide to build the house on the other lot? <laughs> no, that's the good news. So it's just gonna be that corner. So one B will have the twenty five foot setback, and then this guy over here will also have a twenty five um, foot setback. So the corner is the only odd lot. Correct. Okay. There was no one else opposed. Nobody else opposed. All right, moving on, no questions for, for staff, for Jeff, and in public comment. I see one of our esteemed engineers are in, ta uh, in the room. I don't know about esteemed. One esteemed engineer. <laughs> um, so um, Erica Wilby was CFB, and Jeff pretty much did everything I was gonna do. Um, like you said, it's, it's a Galilee, Galilee uh, subdivision or replat. Um, and it's an infill project, so we have a lot of these, and we've done a lot in the past, and have been approved. So I just ask that you approve as presented. Thank you, Erica. Yeah. Any board comments? There be none. We don't have a motion. I motion to approve okay. the variance. Second. Motion for approval and a second. Let's have the vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? There being none, passes 7 0. Next case. Oh, there being none. Wow. Okay. All right, division report. Do we have a division report? Item number four. I have nothing to add this time. Nothing to add. All right, let's see. We need the, uh, no, you're leaving something off this, right? We're supposed to have some kind of opening for public comment on, and I don't have to read it. I just have to make reference to it. Anybody want to say anything that's not on the agenda that doesn't pertain to the agenda? We take everything at this board but complaints. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to complain, get out of here. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Go to the fourth floor or other places. All right, uh, next meeting, item number five, is the next regular meeting of the Zoning Board of Adjustments, scheduled 1.30 on Monday, September the 12th, in City Hall East Mezz Mezzanine Meeting Room. We have anything for next month? Yet? We know of? Not yet, no. Nope. Not yet? Oh, we've had two in a row. Find something. Keep us going. All right, item number six, uh, adjournment. Uh, need to have a motion and a vote on adjournment, and a second on adjourning. Adjournment. Do so motion. A, so motion, do I hear a second? All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you everyone for coming.